So we're back talking about why you should not exercise in running shoes. Now let's be clear, running shoes are great for running and uh, maybe looking good for jeans or hanging out, but they really give you bad input. Now one of the things we're trying to do is upregulate our body's abilities to feel, our body's ability to perceive where we are. And typically when we've talked about running shoes, we've talked about the issue being the cushion, right? That it's really difficult to generate a lot of force when you're standing on such an unstable surface, a, a surface that compresses and never get create, kind of regularly creates a stable platform. Now part of the issue though, is not just about that old trope about, hey, the heel's too cushy. The real issues that we see is that I can't create a lot of torsion in the shoe. That as soon as I start to tip over a little bit, man, if I drive out on the outside of my foot or try to create any stability, I start to lose contact. Forget the ramp that these kind of shoes sometimes have. The issue is as soon as my body and brain starts to perceive that I am unsafe, it will start to make a different choice. I'm about to tip over, I'm getting that input, right? We know that that shoe is not a great shoe for creating torsion or stability. You can see how I'm twisting within the shoe without having to do much, right? So cutting, lateral movements, contributes a lot to a lot of the dysfunction we see sort of in the spontaneous ankle rolling, but also in the choices our brain starts to make around the movement options available to me. If you look at the Olympic lifting shoes, they are almost impossible to turn over. And the idea is that that stability, that amount, the hardness of the shoe, the ability for me to really push laterally means that I can make errors and still correct from those errors by having enough input from the ground back up through the body. So if you are wanting to upregulate your function or protect your kids in training, get them out of running shoes for any other thing besides running forward. Because it's fine, if I'm running forward, this shoe works great, right? It's designed to track in this direction, comma, as soon as I need to change direction or push laterally or create a stable surface or jump and manage that torsion, I'm gonna to start to get all kinds of crazy input. And then we can't even tell what's going on in the rest of your body because you have a type one error in your feet.